Hey, this is Matt Semler. I'm the director of the Lab Gallery, and I am here with um, Heidi Cody and Pete Beeman, who have just finished uh, their installation of Mutiny aboard the Cuddy Sark. Um, now, let's start with you. Heidi, uh, this stemmed from uh, a lot of your past work um, dealing with uh, sort of uh, brand icons and stuff like that. Tell me a little bit about the narrative and the characters that you guys have just finished installing here. Okay, well basically this is a mutiny that's taking place aboard the Cuddy Sark clipper ship. This is from the Whiskey clipper ship. And we'll start with the good guys. We've got the main victim here is Captain Crunch, who's um, tied to the mast, immobilized. Uh, you have Burton's Fisherman here. And Punchy, who is the world's worst lookout, probably to blame for this whole debacle. Um, and then you have Charlie Tuna, who doesn't really seem to be aware of what's going on. And then you have um, the Chicken of the Sea Mermaid, who is neutral. <laughs> and she's the best right here. She's the only female in the narrative. And in the very front, we have a victim who's already been thrown overboard. This is Cracker Jack. He's being held up by a lifesaver. It's a peppermint flavor, in case you're wondering. And then we have the bad guys, who are led by the evil, evil Captain Morgan, of course, from Captain Morgan's room. And then you have these nasty little uh, sailor pirate chocolate chip cookies, the uh, Chips Ahoy sailor pirates, who are a bad lot indeed. You have several on deck that are breaking into a barrel here. This one I think is passed out. This one is actually supposed to be guarding. This one's driving. And then you have this one is actually pursuing Punchy all the way up the ladder going up to the crow's nest. Awesome. And, uh, and, and so the narrative is, and then we have the ship on the high seas, Ships right? on the high seas, yes. And up ahead lies what? In the distance, we have the rock. Not a rock, the rock. The rock, awesome. Um, fabulous. And we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. It looks like they could be heading for um, an imminent disaster. <laughs> All right. Now, um, Part of this uh, installation is uh, one of the one of the central parts of this installation is that the ship, in fact, is kinetic; it moves. And and Pete, this was this was one of your this is one of your main contributions to the process. Tell me a little bit about how how this actually worked. Well, there's two things we really wanted from the motion. One was to keep it slow enough uh, to be really gentle, like it's moving on big waves through the ocean. And the other was to have some I can't remember which was which the pitch and the yaw. Let me just show the movement here for a second. So you can see it's going forward and backward, but it's also drifting slowly from side to side. Okay. And so you were saying that you were trying so, to... To get the right speed, we, um, we just started with a simple motor that we could buy off the shelf. But those tend to run at 1,700 revolutions per minute. So we had to bring that down quite a bit. So we put in all this gearing. Each one of these is a 5 to 1 gear ratio. So you can see it goes slower, 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 slowly, very slowly. So everything's being driven off this last wheel. You can see this chain set drives this long shaft here, which grabs a lever that holds the front of the boat, here. So that's just slowly bringing the boat forwards and backwards. And then on the other side there's another chain set that drives this shaft around, that drives this off-center can. So it's running, grabbing the boat at the back here, causing the boat to rock from side to side. Shaft, driving a small chain drive and a couple of off-center drives here, 
Driving the waves to crisscross a little bit as they overlap each other. We're on the corner of the Lab Gallery, the corner of 47th and Lex, the Lab Gallery in New York. Come check it out.